is it. Welcome to the eye pace. All right. Heading to 44th Street Sky Train Station. 70. Please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. 70 minutes. For any questions, press the call support button to speak with a rider support agent. Okay, okay, okay. So I was checking this trip beforehand and I thought it was going to be uh, 55 minutes. But you know, that's actually fine. Uh, I kind of... Anyway, hi. Yes. <laughs> Welcome back to JJ Rick's Rides with Waymo. Uh, this series is officially back, if I can keep up with it. I mean, I'm going to school in Idaho, so we'll see what the heck happens. But I'll try to keep a backlog of videos. Maybe go once a week. But uh, see if... And if, if anyone's still interested in this, I mean, I don't really know. Because there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of autonomous vehicles content these days on the YouTubes. So, um, yeah, anyway. So we're going to Phoenix Sky Harbor. Um, and I'm going to uh, family stuff, so... If you're thinking about robbing me, uh, by the time you see this, I'll already be back. So don't think about it. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is... Anyway, yeah. So this is the I-Pace. Uh, we haven't... Yeah, I haven't really been taking rides too often. Just because I've been pretty busy. But... Um, yeah. So it's, it'll be nice to get a nice... Uh, long ride here just to get a feel for more diverse areas of traffic and although we are going to the airport here you'd think there'd be a bit more of the downtown Phoenix but we're really only hitting mostly it's gonna be Chandler I believe so yeah we'll see what happens but yeah so I guess the I guess that you know hitting about 3 4 or 5 p.m. we're gonna hit that that Thursday afternoon, evening rush hour should make things interesting. Um. Oh, oh my. <laughs> I wasn't even recording. I wasn't recording the screen camera. Oh crap, I'm sorry. Okay, well, now we have good audio. So, hooray, I guess. Um. I'm going to be monitoring the battery of my GoPro here throughout the trip, and if we get too low, I'm going to have to plug it in, so there might be a cable somewhere. Um, I can't believe I wasn't recording that. What an amateur move, honestly. Is this the first time in a video I'm showing an eye pace going 45 miles an hour? I mean, you know, it might be actually. So, uh, let me see if I can turn the display down. Monitor brightness. There we go. All right. So, long time viewers will notice that the screen camera is actually perfectly smooth now, uh, and that turned out to be, uh, probably the car's a little bit indecisive. So we had a bit of a, a bit of an unsure braking there that wasn't very human-like, and it seemed like the turn signal flicked on and off, um, but we recovered from that just fine, so, yeah, anyway, um, as it turned out, this, uh, I was recording the screen camera on my old phone, and the automatic video stabilization doesn't play nice with the g-forces of a car, so it was trying to stabilize for video that wasn't actually that shaky. And although recording with um, recording with a phone on kind of a shaky arm is not going to be a very good way of going about doing that. So now I actually have a properly anchored tripod um, and I'm using my full Sony camera here and we are 
I mean, I'm seeing a bit of more effect war on the screen there, so hopefully that's not too pronounced, but uh, yeah, the screen camera should be perfectly steady now because I can actually manually disable the stabilization. Um, and it looks like the routing here has just taken us right into the old service area, essentially. So, yeah, we're, 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 we're out past Arizona Avenue at this point, and we have now entered the old service area. So, from this point on until we hit kind of Tempe Mesa, I think we're going to be in the, the area that Waymo's more comfortable with. Um, but yeah, it looks to me like we are going to have a railroad crossing on this trip, um, which is pretty exciting. I, I mean, not really, but as you'll have seen, I just posted a rant about that anyway. <laughs> uh, that's really targeted at Waymo, but I, I did, it's actually one of my more, uh, <laughs> I would say I spent most, I spent a lot more time writing and writing that video and like actually polishing it. So, um, that one's actually scripted and it has a couple good arguments. I try and lay out some stuff, but I'm, I know I'm probably missing something. But anyway, if you haven't seen that, it is kind of neat. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> so we're back in the old, um, residential neighborhoods here. It seems to be afraid of that turn on Dobson for some reason. And it has been for years. But here we are at a four-way stop. We're going to do the classic stop all the way. Funny how, uh, as, you, as you're seeing this a month ago now, the, the whole Tesla stop sign thing with Dan O'Dowd and all the shenanigans, which is endlessly hilarious going on right now as I film this, but, uh, yeah, good, good times. Always nice to see a four-way stop, which Waymo could do in 2009, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> um, LOL, I guess. So yeah, we're not really in new territory here, but I will say that I-Pace is a lot less rattly than the Pacifica, and the driving, even when braking, is noticeably better in terms of any kind of emergency stop braking is... Well, actually, I don't think I've really seen a full emergency stop at this point. Um, but, yeah, just I, I, my verdict on the I-Pace is smooth. It's very smooth. It's very well done. It's even smoother than previous, which is really saying something. There we go, uh, what looks to be a duck just flew out in front of us. Um, no hesitation from the car there, which is pretty neat, but it was going slow enough not to hit it, so I wonder if there's some kind of trajectory calculations going on there, but... Uh... <laughs> that is, uh, in previous video, JJ uh, Rex Rides with Lambo number 55, there was actually a, a bird demo there. It was just sitting on the street, though, and we actually slowed down and stopped for that, which was, which I thought was pretty neat. Um, yeah. Okay, so we have officially entered Alma School here. I think JJ Ricks Rides with Waymo number 54 is the, the infamous one that most people probably know me for. Um, but that's one street over. I, have, I don't think I've been back there since the series was over in a Waymo. I mean, maybe. But I'd kind of like to see how it executes that a similar turn. Um, okay, so for some reason we've slowed down to 42. It's a little herky-jerky. Now we're back up to 45. Okay. I kind of hope you can see the speedometer on the GoPro. I can't quite tell, but I don't think so. As much as I would love to have a little heads-up display kind of thing on the screen, showing you the speed and whatnot, I don't think it's... Um, I don't think it's going to happen. Because if you see in my, in my first Phoenix ride, the first couple of minutes there, I actually did try and put my phone and record uh, speed and accelerometer data. 
Uh, and in my previous testing, it actually went pretty well, but something about downtown Phoenix or something about the interior of this car blocking GPS was enough to be a problem. So it, it just didn't work out. Um, I mean, not to mention it also adds editing work in After Effects, which, you know, I don't, I don't like to really touch After Effects. If I don't have to, I mean, I can do it. <laughs> but, you know, it goes how it goes. So, I mean, actually the, the stop sign counter, stop sign, excuse me, the, um, the stop light counter, which you're seeing on screen in the bottom left right there, right now, is actually an After Effects uh, timer expression. Uh, but, yeah, so there's your fun fact of the day. I just exported it as a five minute video, uh, transparent MOV, and I stuck it over the... Actually, no, I think it's... I think it's just indirectly imported into Premiere as an After Effects composition, but anyway, yeah, that's not really important, I don't know. Netherlands, I believe. Is that... It's the Netherlands, right? Oh, crap, sorry if I got it wrong. But, anyway, hello. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, person turned in front of us there, and then there's people coming off the 202 there that are making it kind of shake around a little bit. Um, very interesting, very interesting, yeah. It's still nothing that bad. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. My, my friend Tim here told me uh, he used to watch my videos while he was working on homework, writing writing stuff, I think it was homework. Uh, so I hope my talking isn't uh, interrupting anybody's homework. But, uh, you know, if you have lo-fi beats in the background or something, maybe you can, you can mute me and just have the car in the corner of your eye, which is, you know, that's always fun. Um, Stoplight. So, yeah, it's coming up here in about a mile or so. We'll have a left turn, and we'll see if it ends up being an unprotected left. Those are always pretty impressive, especially on these pretty wide streets. So it was, it was good practice. I, th I don't think we've we ever hang out in somebody else's blind spot. Actually, we're going for our left lane change here. Let's see how we execute that. Uh, oh, doing what I do and slowing down for it. But uh, and there we go. Left lane change completed. Excellent work there. I think my GoPro battery has ever lasted more than uh, like an hour-ish hour on a charge. So yeah, coming up on the end of the ride here, we're gonna have to uh, plug in a cable. Actually, okay, no unprotected left. Ooh, we're gonna squeeze that gap. Yep, all right. Good, good deal. Oh, we might actually get an unprotected left if it... No, I don't think... Well, yeah, these stoplights are all tricky, because, uh... We'll see if it does that, because there's a sign right there that says yield on flashing yellow, but... Yeah, anyway, alright. Uh, I think we'll split the video here. 
So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.